Hey guys, what's up? It's Olivia, and I am back with another new video. So, today, I want to point out a few things before I get started. I am not wearing any makeup, so I look like trash. And no, this is not real. Um, it's very fake. But I really want to get my nose pierced, which is going to be happening as soon as I can. I think at 16. But yeah. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story about when a raccoon broke into my house. Um, this is not clickbait. This is my first story time video. So yeah, let's just get started. So if you have not heard, there are people dressing up as clowns and running around the neighborhood at night, um, like hiding in the woods and like jumping out at people and stuff like that. And it's very frightening to me because I know that people in my school have seen them and have told people that they have. Now I've never seen one, but they're still very scary. And so I'm quite paranoid <laughs> but anyway that's besides the point I was sleeping so this was yesterday morning and I wake up at 5 and just throwing that out there so it wasn't like and, okay I wake up at 5 okay I'm laying in my bed and the dogs start going crazy like crazy like barking non-stop and I'm like what the heck I just kind of like froze for a second I was like a few things could be happening. Somebody's in my house, like, stealing crap and, like, robbing up my house. Or the clowns are in my house. Or I, I, there's maybe a squirrel outside the window. I had no idea what was going on. So, I froze up. I just laid on my bed. I turned my fan, because I have, like, this fan that, like, obviously chills me. Um, I have my fan on at night and I turned it off because I was afraid if it was somebody or a clown they would hear me. I turned off the ringer on my phone so my alarms wouldn't go off because I looked at the clock and it was about 3.45 in the morning. So I was like, frick, like this is the end. Um, I'm never making it out again. Um, I love you mom, I love you dad, like thanks for like being great. And then I fell back to sleep because... You know, I only woke up for like a tad second. So I fell back to sleep, woke up again. They're still barking. I mean, they obviously woke me up again from barking. And I look at the clock and it's closer to four, probably like 4.30 almost. And I was like, why are they still barking? And then I heard a whole bunch of ruckus outside my door. And I was like, what is going on? Literally, it sounded like somebody was throwing stuff at my door. I was like, what is going on? Like, I'm I'm freaking out. So, I'm laying in my bed. I didn't even think of, like, calling my dad or anything. I'm laying in my bed. My dad was home this night. Sometimes my parents both work thirds. So, it's just me, my brother, and my sister at night. But, my dad was home. So, laying in my bed, chilling, freaking out. Um, see, I, I just, like, froze up. Like, I didn't know what to do. So, it kept getting louder, and, like, it wouldn't stop, and I was like, what is going on out there? And I was too afraid to, like, open the door and see, like, legit see what was happening. So, I texted my dad, and I was like, are you awake? Like, are you hearing this? Do you, do... <laughs> like, what is going on? And then, I hear a knock on my door, and I freaked the F out. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, somebody's outside my door, like, trying to eat me. Like, what is happening? So, I don't say anything. I don't say, like, come in, or, like, who is it? I just sit there really quiet and then the door opens luckily it was just my dad and he says there's raccoon in the house um okay so backtrack to a couple days ago we have a doggy door and it has this cover over it so you can like cover at night so other animals cannot enter your home um so my brother had covered it and both of my dogs were sitting like on my lap and we heard the doggy door like open and we were like we being me and my brother and his girlfriend we we're all like oh my gosh like both of the dogs are here like who's trying to open the doggy door and my brother opened the door and a raccoon was like chilling by the doggy door like trying to get in our house we were like nah -uh. Uh -uh. so then my brother like scared it and it ran away so We've been shutting the doggy door, but somebody left the screen door open. Um, so, a raccoon has entered our home. 
So I'm spazzing out, like freaking out. Like the a raccoon is in my house. Um, so I open my door to see like where this raccoon is. It is in the upstairs bathroom. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs bathroom. Not the downstairs bathroom, like by the door. Upstairs. So the door was closed at that time and he was locked in the bathroom. And I'm talking to my dad, and I'm like, what? Like, what the heck? Like, what? What? Um, so, my dad had tried to, like, get him out, and he just, like, wasn't, wasn't going. Like, he made one of those, um, those little exterminator guy thingies that they use, and he, like, broke it, like, the raccoon broke it. So, I'm gonna take this out. Okay. Okay. So, my sister comes up the steps. Now, she is in the basement. Like, that's where her room is, is in the basement. And she could hear it in the basement. Like, this raccoon running around. Um, so, here's a few pictures of it in the bathroom. We tried to, like, make a path for the raccoon and like open the bathroom door and let him walk out but he wouldn't he would just like sit on the sink so my dad would try to like get him wound up and like try to like get him out of the bathroom and he kept going into the bathtub and I guess it was really hard for my dad at that angle or something to get him out that way but he pooped in the bathtub he pooped in my bathtub and he's okay when we shut the door again he was running around in the bathroom like knocking everything down pulling down shelves Ugh. it was crazy so we're trying like all these things to like think of how to get him out and my dad just like has the door open and the way my house is set up here's okay here's the bathroom here is the linen closet and then here's my room and that's like one hallway and then the rec room and then another hallway over here so i'm very my room very close to the bathroom so i'm so thankful that i shut my door that night or else i'd wake up with a raccoon in my bed <laughs> um so i'm like hiding in the crack of my door and like trying to film this and i got a few things on video that i will show you guys His name is Rob. Um, I named him Rob for a couple of reasons. One, because I think Rob is a rad name. Um, also, because I thought he was a robber. So, like, I shortened it for Rob. And he has, like, you know how raccoons have, like, those little, like, black triangle thingies on their face? So, kind of, like, with, like, the mask. Yeah. So, he's very, like, robber looking. So, he looks like a Rob. So, called him Rob. And my dad tried to call him Ricky. Hey, Ricky Raccoon. Dad, his name is Rob. Ricky. Rob. Ricky the Raccoon. He just casually walks out of the bathroom and walks like right by my door. So I shut my door really quick and I'm in my room and the raccoon's outside my door. And my dad's like, don't open the door. Like, don't open the door. Like, he's right by your door. And I'm like, holy crap. Holy crap. This is like 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what? What? Uh, so yeah, I feel bad for the little raccoon. He was so scared. Um, but I was quite terrified myself. So, so the raccoon, like, was in the rec room. So it was, like, in the back of the rec room. And I could get to the bathroom door without, like, encountering him. So my dad was like, girl, you gotta be brave now. You have to go shut the bathroom door so it doesn't go back in there. So I come out of my room and I run over and I shut the bathroom door so quick. And as soon as like it heard like the door like the of the door like hitting the thing. This boy pops his head up, looks right at me and I'm like, what? Like, what? Ran back in my room and shut my door. 
and I can hear my dad like yelling at it like no don't do that like like it's a dog and understands like stop like that like it doesn't understand what you're saying and like he had like this huge piece of wood and he was like like pushing it out of the house like out like downstairs so he like gets on the steps and like just runs out the back door like gone and we were all like oh, he's out of the house this all happened at four in the morning yesterday I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys right back here as the smile day. fell Bye. from your face I fell with it our face is blue there's a heart stain on the carpet I left it